Okay, so you are saving to buy a house. You got money for the inspection. You have money for earnest money. You have money for the appraisal. You have money for your down payment. But now in this new post-COVID world of real estate, there's another set of money or another bit of money that you need to have in your back pocket if you want to be taken seriously when putting in an offer. This is Steve, real estate agent, Keller Williams, Malone Realty Group. So what we're seeing right now uh, over the last year because of the pandemic, we've seen an increase in the number of buyers because the rates being so good, and we've seen a decrease in the number of listings because uh, COVID's kept sellers from really wanting people in their houses, uh, just uncertainty of what's going on in the world. For all the different reasons, there are fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer listings to where right now we're recording this in the spring of 2021. It is pretty crazy right now, the number of homes that are on the market. It's extremely, extremely low some of the lowest on history that we've seen uh, and the buyers are still out there so we are still seeing multiple offer situations on just about anything that goes and the new thing that we're starting to see as we talked about it's another cost that you may have to uh, to endure and that's bringing in money to cover the fact that the house may not appraise i'll give you for an example let's say you're selling a house that's four hundred thousand dollars let's just say four hundred thousand dollars all of a sudden, you got 50 people show up, you've got 20 offers. And of those 20 offers, some of them went for 410, 415, but there's gonna always be that, that blockbuster offer that went 440 and we're gonna buy it. Now, you take the 440 offer, say, yeah, that's great, but here's the deal it has to appraise. When you, we talk about appraisals, we're talking about the person that gets a mortgage. Uh, the mortgage company, uh, they need an appraisal. They need a company to go out and say, this is what the house is worth. A, like a third party idea of what the house is worth. So they look at the comps in the area, they look at the construction, they look at the upgrades, things like that. And they come up with what is a fair market value for the house. Uh, sometimes it's hard to keep up because the prices are going up so quickly. Uh, the appraisers may not necessarily, based on comps, get what the price of that house is. So that house may be worth 440, but more than likely with the comps in place uh, maybe it only gets 410 or 415 on the appraisal. So there's a gap there between the 440 somebody offered and the 415 where the appraiser said, you know, that's what the house is worth. So then you have to decide, does the seller come down to 415 or does the buyer need to bring extra money? And what we're seeing a lot right now is the buyers not only going way over, but also saying if it's if the appraisal comes in low, I'm willing to pay either five thousand more, maybe ten thousand more. And some people are saying I don't care what the appraisal is. I got the money in my back pocket. We'll get it done. And and we have seen that because a lot of folks are coming in, they're moving in from out of town, coming in from different states. They're getting money off the sales from their houses. Uh, spots like New York and California that has the higher price point, so they have a little bit more cash to spend. They're coming in here, and they've got that money to go forward. So if you are a, a person who's in a position of you just have enough money for uh, putting the money down on your house, uh, for paying for the closing costs, uh, for paying for uh, the inspection, for the appraisal itself, putting down earnest money, you may not have that Extra, oh yeah, and on top of that, another $10,000 just in case it doesn't appraise right. In a lot of ways, from the buyer's perspective, and I'm just going to look at this from a buyer's perspective right now, in a lot of ways, it's really not fair to ask that because the reason the appraisal is there is to verify, hey, look, they're kind of a third party trying to keep everything on, you know, on the even and trying to keep everything under control. You know, if, you know, somebody goes and sells their house, like if I sold my house right now for $3 million and somebody went to buy it for $3 million, the appraiser is going to say, no, it's not $3 million. Come on. So they're going to slow it down. And that's going to help to kind of keep the market in check a little bit. Uh, and it's going to protect buyers from overspending. It's going to protect the, the lenders from being you know, underwater with homes that aren't worth what they're putting the money out for. Uh, and and it, for all those reasons, while yes, you know, for sellers, it's not necessarily a good thing, but for buyers, appraisals are good because they keep things kind of in check a little bit. But from the seller's perspective right now, if I'm getting 40 offers on my home and a lot of them are 420, 430, that should be what the price, the sales price of the house is. You know, that should be what the appraisal value is because that's what it's worth. So, you know, it's kind of a, it's an age long battle with appraisals between what the sellers think about them, what the buyers think about them, what the banks think about them, what the agents think, all that stuff. But 
no matter what the age old argument is, this is the new wrinkle to it. Most offers that we're seeing right now that come in or most homes that are on the market that go into multiple offer situations, people are presenting that extra money. They're presenting that extra $5,000, $7,000, $10,000 over the appraised price just in case. And some people are just saying, whatever, I'll cover the gap, whatever it is. So keep that in mind. If you're going into a battle, talk to your agent about that. Because again, you got that money for uh, closing costs. Because uh, you know sometimes in some markets, you can get the seller to pay some of your closing costs. This market, it's very, very tough, especially if it just came on the market. It's very tough to do that. Uh, you have the down payment. So whatever that percentage is that you're putting down, then you've got the appraisal, which is in the neighborhood of $400 to $500 on average. Sometimes it's more uh, inspections. Again, $400 to $500-ish on average. Sometimes it's more if it's a bigger house. And you've got earnest money, which is typically on average 1% of the sales price. That goes towards you and towards your closing, but still that's cash that you've got to put up up front. So keep that in mind as we're going into, um, you know, into the summertime. If you're thinking about buying a house, that is something you have to keep an eye on. Do I need to have that extra money? Do I need to have that extra on top of everything else I've budgeted for? Do I need to have an extra five thousand, seven thousand, maybe ten thousand dollars to put towards the house in the event that the appraisal comes in too low? Because a, you know that, you know we just need to be competitive in this market, and b, you know that that may be the only way that we can get the house. You know, so it, it's just with this weird market, you know, sellers are getting crazy offers. Buyers, you know, they have to come up with ways to stand out when they put out an offer. That's one of the ways you can stand out and putting in an offer. And sometimes that's the only way that you can try and bridge that gap uh, between what the uh, appraised price and what the sales price is. Hopefully that made sense. And hopefully it wasn't just seven minutes of me just kind of <laughs> rambling, which they most typically are seven minutes of me rambling. But again, if you're buying, it's a new playing field now than it was even just three or six months ago. Give us a call and let's talk about it before you head out there. So you know what you're going up against. We're not going to, uh, you know, tell you if it, if it's rainbows and lollipops and unicorns, if it's not, you know, rainbows, lollipops and unicorns, it's, it's a battle out there. We'll shoot you straight. We'll tell you what you're getting into, but we'll also tell you if we want to win, this is how we're going to do it. So let's talk about it. 470-233-4409. This is Steve Keller Williams, Malone Realty Group. Let's go buy a house. Talk to you. Have a good day.